Hello guys, welcome back. We're playing Link's Awakening. Now, it hasn't been long since I recorded the previous video, but it's coming in like a week after, so... If you guys had any ideas, that's why they're not here. But of course, if you guys didn't, it doesn't actually matter. So last time, we completed the Angler Dungeon. I forgot what it's called already, and I just did it. But we got the flippers and this thing following us, so we're going to go take this where it wants to go. Which I already know, luckily. I don't have to wait for it to tell me things. Because that would be annoying. Oh, it's gonna... What's the fastest way there? Do I already have a warp? I do. Beautiful. So we warp over here to Martha's Bay. Go back into that old abandoned house. And that's exactly where we need to be. This is just like here, enter my house. It's gonna take a look around. And then we're going to go all the way up to. I don't even know the exact lo what the location is called. Nostalgia Unchanged. I am sorry, I'm not showing very much emotion here. <laughs> Enough. Cemetery. Take me to my grave. Oh. Okay. Let's speed along with this quest because it's weird. And I don't like weird quests. Over here to you, Now, am I going to take the fancy route or the route that you should take because you're not insane? I'm going to take a route that I should take because I'm not insane. Just jump. Just jump. Right here. And this is how you get your first bottle. Well, that or fishing. Thank you. A jar for you. Put something inside. Bye bye. And that's where you stuff fairies. You got a fairy bottle. It looks big enough to hold a fairy inside. Alright, this is the owl probably telling me that he's ahead to Martha's Bay. It's been some time since our paths crossed, lad. It really hasn't. We must dive into the water of Martha's Bay and enter the catfish's maw. The closer you get to the windfish, the more restless he sleeps. Carry on word. Hoot! Good for you, but I am not doing that. I actually have another objective for this video. And that is to get gear. Well, not gear. I already have a lot of gear. But we're gonna head over to Candle Castle and explore some and get some pieces of heart. You know, everyone's favorite thing. Of course, to get some other pieces of heart, I actually do need to complete the Catfish's Maw, sadly. But for where am I going? Candlet Castle. What route am I taking? Let's just teleport to Seashell Mansion. Uh, then I can go down and take a reasonable route, I think. Right past here. 
Wait, can I not go under this bridge? They're kidding. Oh yeah, that's an entire mini game. I'm pretty sure you need the item that yeah, I need the item that I get from the catfish's maw to get there. Now what I didn't realize was there's a ladder right here. Which I am not using. Because that guy is going to uh, attack me. Ah oh, yes, a secret seashell. Perfect, down here. You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, there could be something in it for you. I'm also pretty sure there's one in the first dungeon. If I didn't already get it. There should be a piece of heart down here. Somewhere. Do I remember where exactly? No. But I do remember a piece of heart ah, over there. And across that gap. But there is no way I'm crossing that gap right now, so. Right here. Oh, oh, of course. Of course. Uh, of course. Why, why wouldn't they make it so that you can't just go down right there? That's... Yeah, sure. Sure. They made getting that piece of heart as time-consuming as they possibly could. Next, I need to check the first dungeon, the village, and all over this forest. I also need to head back to Animal Village. So... I'll head to Animal Village first, and then I'll go search the large areas. But there's a hibiscus that I need to give to someone in here. Yep, in here. Oh, you brought me a hibiscus? How sweet. Well, since you're such a gentleman, I'll have a request to make for you. Will you listen? Yes. Would you like to take this letter to Mr. Wright who lives in the border of Mysterious Forest, please? Yes, yeah, sure. You trade a hibiscus for a goat's letter? Great! Alright, but no, seriously, where's the secret seashell? I want it. I might actually have to complete this quest to get the secret seashell. <sighs> but I did that first because with that, I can now head over here to the village. Or Yukyu Prairie. Because that's where I teleport most of the time. Well, that and uh, Seashell Mansion. Well, we're gonna search the dungeon first. There's a special room and I need to check to see if I unlocked it or not. If I didn't, then we just have to enter there. If I did, then there's nothing left to do in that dungeon. And I can forget about it for the rest of eternity. Then I need to check the shops by the bow. Make some more money so that I can get some more stuff. This is the wrong way. Oh, I also need to search the beach. But still, that's the wrong way for what I decided to do first. In here, secret seashell. You found a secret seashell. If you collect all of these, there could be something in it for you. Alright. Into Tail Cave. So, I think, hold on, what button was it? I have not gotten the secret room. And I just got hit by My routing for this dungeon is horrible because I forgot how this dungeon works. 
but you're supposed to go up to the left, up, have bombs. Oh, bomb arrows do work in this game. So that's cool, you just have to press bomb and bow at the same time. And you'll fire a bomb arrow, as long as you have arrows. You found a secret seashell, if you collect a lot of these, there could be something in it for you. And we can test out this in a dungeon. It warps you to the entrance. Where you can use the special teleporter to warp elsewhere in the dungeon. Alright. So we can go scour the beach first. Then we'll head back to the village, search around a bit there, and after that, I'll go into the mysterious forest. You got, you got a piece of power, you can feel the energy flowing through you. Is there anything over here? No. But really... My objective is just to get all the seashells and gear, really. Oh, there's something weird in there, but I couldn't find anything, so useless. Um, anything in here? No? Okay. That was used for one thing. And there's nothing on the beach. Brilliant. Well, I mean, there was something, but I already got it, so it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, there's a fairy by the fisherman's hut. I know that. So I can pick that up. I can hit this. Is this Stampe asking me? Oh wait, what's that? Was there, was there something in here? Did, or did I already get it? I already got it. Okay. Please, please move. Please, please. I want to leave. Ugh. Okay, I'll check in this house. Nothing. I'll check in Trendy Game. Oh, <laughs> it's just called Trendy Game. That's so dumb. <laughs> trendy Game, one play, ten rupees play. The buttons are the train, the rest is just time and good luck. A moves left, X moves up, right? I'm A moves right. Oh yes, I'm so good at telling my directions. Yep, so good. I'm also really good at aiming. Please don't fall out. It's just as bad as an actual crane in real life. But I need this, so I'm going to keep playing until I get it, or I run out of money. I went too far again. The real question is how do I keep going so far? Better question is how did that fall out? <laughs> yes, I'll play again. The actual objective is to get whatever you want. Are you kidding me? I hate this game so much. Pick it up and put it on the conveyor belt. Move it to the... I will get this. I 
I really don't care about about what this game wants because I'm going to get Okay, how does that even work? Of course I'm going to play again. I'm getting the secret seashell. Now, when this game works, it's wonderful. When this game doesn't work, you get things like this. Like, come on! I wasn't even trying to get the rupee! <laughs> Pick it up and move it two inches to the left. It finally stayed in on the one time where it only needed to move two inches. The reason why Trendy Game is awful for everything. You got a secret seashell, put it to your ear and hear those whispered secrets. Alright, time to make my money back. Made all the money back that I needed. And go in here. Now I can buy this bow. Bow and arrow set, only 980 rupees. Thanks a lot. Come again. You know, I would say it's a scam, but the thing never breaks, so it's not. Uh, I need this bottle. Oh, it drops a bomb. My bad. I I thought that he had a fairy. Um. Okay, my bad. There is a tree that if you hit, there are fairies. It just wasn't that one. Did I already get this chest? Yeah. Wait one second, I can just go. Brilliance. Do that. All right, what's down here? Oh, it's a cave. Just a random cave. With purple fire. Hey kid, you woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot, but now I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? I'll let you carry more magic powder. <laughs> Are you ready? No. Okay, I'll let you carry more bombs, haha. <laughs> Are you ready? No. Fine, I'll let you have more arrows, haha. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. More arrows. And everybody likes arrows. Haha, <laughs> you deserved it. Now look at all the junk you have to carry. Haha, <laughs> take care, see you again. Pretty sure there's three of those caves, so you get to max out everything. Uh, but, yeah. 60 arrows. That's, that's a fine amount of arrows. What's through here? Nothing. Double KOs, triple KOs, and quadruple KOs are all so satisfying. Wait, I already got the secret seashell that's right here? Great. This is Mr. Wright's house. Here's a letter. What's this? A letter for me? I'm so happy. And look, the letter came with a photograph. That's Princess Peach. Hmm. She, she's so beautiful. I must give you something for your trouble. Hmm. Well, it looks like all I have is this broom. How will that be? Fine. You got a broom as your reward from Mr. Wright, but that photo was not of... Yeah, that was not... That was not her photo. Uh... At all. 
It, it was peaches. Oh, have I ever been in here before? I don't know. I don't even think I've ever been around these parts. I haven't, because that chest is not... I haven't, because that chest is not clear. You got 20 rupees. Joy. Ah, uh, yes. Joy from getting 20 rupees when I wanted 300. Hopefully this will be 300. That would be nice. It was 50. You got 50 rupees. Very nice. Alright, so I need to give the broom to... Whatchamacallit. There should be... No. Yes. You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of, the, a lot of these, there could be something in it for you. There might be something up here. There is. It talks. Music. The fish stirs in the egg. You're there. So I need music and myself. Excellent. Why would I do that? Alright. I'm pretty sure. Ow. This is just gonna be a weird ow. Okay. Um. I need to this. Right. attack is actually very useful, seeing as how it can hit twice, and I'm pretty sure it does double the damage of your normal strike. Of course, what I actually want is the improved sword as well as this red mail to deal insane amounts of damage, because I know that increases your damage. Um, Oh, down here. Down here, down here, down here. Yahoo, Yahoo! A new broom for me is, isn't it? Yes. Okay, in return you can have this fishing hook I found when I swept by the riverbank. You exchange the broom for the fishing hook. What will the fishing hook become? Alright, and so I need to head over to the bay. Because I can't think of pieces of heart. But I do know there is some stuff over by the bay for me. Um, but actually, let's have to seashell mansion instead. I'm gonna end this Zelda video a bit earlier than usual. Because going by the bay for the rest of the stuff, I'm already gonna be doing a dungeon by the bay. Just makes more sense to do all of that at the same time. Hmm, no response. You must not have enough shells. No, no, I don't. But, okay, guys. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys for leaving. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope that you guys... What? Thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you liked the video. And subscribe if you want more content like this. Support me. Uh, what? Patreon and bye.